hello everyone so we are going to start our practical lab for the azure data factory we will see each and every activity one by one in this particular video we are going to see how actually we can perform a copy activity in azure data factory so we have a business requirement first step we will try to understand the business requirement and then we will think about the solutioning part and then we will move for the practical part so this is how actually we are going to follow so let us understand the business requirement so our business requirement is like we have a data that is available in azure storage input container so in azure we have a blob storage we have created one input container in this input container we are getting a data from outsource now what we have to do we have to copy this data to azure storage output container so what we have to do we have to copy this data which is available in input container we have to copy this data into the output container in a blob storage so it is a very simple right whatever the data is coming into the blob storage input container that data you have to copy into the blob storage output container for that we have to create a pipeline in a azure data factory so that is the practical we have to do so what we are doing we are do copying a data which is available in a blob storage input container to the blob storage output containers that is a practical now whenever you will create azure data factory pipeline what are the steps generally we have to follow let's try to understand so whenever we will create azure data factory pipeline these are the steps we have to follow so what is the first step in this scenario if you will see what we are going to do we are going to perform a copy activity because we have to just copy a data which is available in input container to the output container so first step what is the activity you are going to follow so we are going to follow copy activity so copy activity we have selected now after that what is the next thing next thing is like you have to understand what is your source and the destination what is my source and the destination source and destination both are blob storage in this case so we have understand what is my source source is also blob storage and the my target is also blob storage so what i will do first i will try to create a data set create a data set in this data set what actually i will try to do i will try to point out to the my source location similarly for the target also i will create one data set this target data set will point out to the target location so first step is to create the activity to decide the activity second step is to create a data set and the next step is to create a link service what link service will have link service will have to access the source location so blob storage so if you have to access a blob storage so for that you should have a access so this link service will help to access the blob storage similarly here also to access the target location we will create a link service so that we will be able to access the output container so these are the steps generally we will follow whenever we create a any azure data factory pipeline now let me show you the data set so this is the data set what we have we have a employee id name salary address location so this is the csv file we have let me open azure storage so this is i have login with the portal.azure.com i have created one storage account the storage account is the poc storage or you can search like a storage account once you will search the storage account you will see your storage if you haven't created a storage account please do create a storage account we have already covered in the last video so click on the poc storage after that go to the container in this container we will try to create a two container i'll click on the container click on the plus container you can see right we are going to create a new container i will give the container name as a input so make sure you give in a lower case and the unique you can see input container i have name given i'll click on the create so i created one container input container i will create another container that container name will be the output container output so this is the container i will create for my target location so i created two container input and the output i'll go to the input i'll try to upload a file how to upload click on the upload button browse for file and upload that particular file i will upload this particular file upload now you can see ply1.csv we have copied into the input container if you want to see this particular file click here go to the edit and you can see preview 
you will be able to see this is the file we have now what we want to do we want to create one data pipeline which will copy a data from an input container to a output container as of now output container there is no data so we'll create one azure data factory pipeline which will copy a data from input to the output so i will search for the data factory i already created a data factory we have already seen like how to create a data factory also i'll click on the poc data factory here launch studio open in a new studio so this particular screen you will see once you will open a data factory now what we have to do you have to go to the author in this author only we will try to perform all the data pipeline creation and all so you can see you have option pipeline change data capture data set data flow i'll click on the pipeline click on the new pipeline once you will click on the new pipeline you can see this all the activities there so what is our first step first step to decide the activity what activity we want to perform we want to perform a copy activity so in a move and transform you can see we have a copy activity you have to select and you have to drag here once you will select and drag you are going to perform a copy data activity okay it's very simple right now click on this copy data now you can see general a name you can give any name so i can give name as a blob to blob so that you can see here also it is coming like blob to blob copy description you want you can give any description time out retry if any failure is happening for that we give a retry and the time out option as of now we are not giving now what i will do i'll go to the source now in the source what we will do we will try to create a data set so you can see we have a source data set so what is our first step first step is to create a data set so first we will create a data set for the source and then we will create a data set for the target so you can see source and the data set right click on the new here you will see different different option means your source can be anything your source can be blob storage your source can be data lake your source can be mongodb your source can be mysql different different right so what is our source so our source is the blob so i'll select the azure blob storage continue after that we have to select our file my file is csv file so i'll select that if your file is json so you can select that schema also mine is csv so i'll select that continue after that we have to create a link service link service will help to connect with the blob storage so i'll click on the new we are going to create a new link service you can see we have given the name as azure blob storage after that the integration runtime because uh, our source and the target both are available into a azure space only so we are going to use the auto resolve integration runtime that is the by default one after that we have to select the subscription we have to select our storage account so this is the storage we have created after that you just have to click on the test connection you can see connection is successful and then click on the create so with this with the help of this link service we, we are able to connect with the blob storage now after that you have to select a file path so i'll click on this browse which particular file you want to have your source so this is the our source so i'll select this file as my source you can see input container and the employee one dot csv this is my source first row as header so whether your file contain the first row as header yes so i'll select this and after that you have to click on the ok now you can see we have created a data set now whether you are able to connect or everything looks good or not how actually you will check you have to click on the preview data once you will click on the preview data and if you are able to see your file as it is then you are good otherwise if any error occurs you will not be able to see any data in a preview data itself so that's how we have to debug also now our source is ready we have created a data set now what actually we want to do i will go to the sync if for the sync where actually we want to store our data we want to store in a blob storage so for that also we have to create a data set so in a diagram if you will see right 
we have created a data set for source now again we will create a data set for our target location where you want so first i will click on the new where you want to store your data we want to store in the blob history so i'll select that but if you want to store in a mysql post sql based on your requirement you can select that blob storage i will select continue i want to store in the form of a csv only so i'll select that but if you want to save as a json you can select that also so csv only i will select now after that we'll create a link service you can use the same link service because that is the same blob storage but let's see how actually we can create a link service so i'll give the link service name after that you have to select your subscription after that you have to select the blob storage after that click on the create now after that file path where you want to store i want to store into this output container because this is my target right so i'll select that and after that i'll just click on the ok now my source and the my sync is ready for source i created a data set and link service for the target also i created a data set and the link service now after that what we have to do now your data pipeline is now ready now what actually you will do if you want to validate this click on the validate all you can see we have a validate all option right click here once you will click here and if you will see no error then you are good click on the close so validated all resources going on in the notification window you will see so what you have to do validate all your data factory has been validated close after that you have to click on the publish all so whatever the changes you are doing right so you have to first publish before running the pipeline you can see publishing is going on deployment is going on once it will complete then we will try to run the pipeline now you can see publishing deploy deploying changes to the factory so whatever the changes we are doing first we have to validate all and then we have to publish you can see publish is completed now if you had to run this pipeline how actually you will run you can see we have option add trigger so if you click on the add trigger you have a two option trigger now and the new edit if you had to schedule then you will go for the new edit but if you had to test and if you had to run manually then you can click on the trigger now then your pipeline will start running that will copy a data from a input to the output so let me click on the trigger now click on the ok now if you have to monitor your pipelines so you can see we have a monitor option come here you can see this is the pipeline which is running and it is in in progress state once it will complete it should be able to copy a data from our blob storage input container to the output container if it is doing then we are good you can see it is succeed now now what i will do i'll go here in a microsoft azure i'll go to the my storage account in the storage account i'll go to the container in the container in output i will see whether my data is copied or not you can see my data is copied so with the help of the data factory we are able to copy let's see how data looks you can see data looks as it is what actually it was available there so that is how actually we can create a pipeline using azure data factory that's how we can create a data side link service so i hope you got it in next video we'll do a more practical and we'll try to understand more